Hi, I'm Oliver from the Early Years team. I'm Catherine from the Library Service. I'm Lindsay, I'm from the Home Learning team. I'm Beth from the Library Service. And I'm Simon from North County Council's Family Learning team. And in this video, we'll be sharing with you 10 fun activities that you can do with your child at home to prepare them for primary school. Children are likely to have a lot of questions before they start school and it's important that they can talk to you about any worries or concerns. They're likely to be feeling a lot of different emotions, both excitement but also nervousness. Try and find positive solutions to scenarios that could crop up, be it needing to go to the toilet, not being able to find their lunchbox or just not having someone to talk to. It's really important to talk with your child about how they're feeling. When you're watching TV shows or reading books, think about how the characters are feeling and talk to your child about that. Are they happy, sad, frustrated? Helping children to understand their feelings and emotions will enable them to build effective relationships as they move into school and beyond. There are all kinds of different challenges and stresses that your child might encounter and a great way to help them deal with this is to focus on breathing. So a really easy activity you can try is breathing in up to a count of three, then you hold for four counts and then breathe out slowly for five counts. And even maybe keeping your hands on your chest to feel and really connect with that movement. This is great to do every day and don't save it just for when they're upset. Maybe make it part of story time as a way to signify this is when we calm down together and then they'll know how to do it themselves when they feel they need it for their own emotional well-being. Everyone can be nervous when they're doing something new and starting school is a life-changing event. So many children will be a little nervous and there are things you can do to improve their confidence, particularly around meeting new adults. When you're out in the street and you see someone you know, encourage your child to join you in waving to them and encourage your child to join in with conversations with family and friends. And when you go to the school, make sure you introduce your child to the adults because if you seem to like the adults, they're going to feel more relaxed. The need for children to be able to wash their hands independently is massively important for both their health and self-care. It is also key that they are confident with other self-care activities like toileting. The more they practice at home with you and your support, the happier they'll be doing it independently when they get to school. Go through a hand washing routine with your child, talking to them about why this is so important and how long they should be spending doing it. Getting enough sleep is vital for your children's development. A calm, consistent bedtime routine is really important for their well-being. Remember, bath, book, bed. A really simple routine. If you're consistent and persistent, it has huge benefits in the long run. In schools and nurseries, we often talk about small world play. What that means is playing with small toys and sometimes props. Adults use this play to introduce new ideas or solutions to problems. Sometimes we act out a situation with the small toys. Research shows that children and young people who sit down with their family and eat at mealtimes become more effective communicators as they move into later life. Try to sit down and eat together where possible. If you've got a table, sit and eat at that, but if not, try sitting on the floor, perhaps at a picnic mat. Encourage your child to use cutlery as this promotes fine motor development and is something they'll be expected to use when they move into school. When your child goes to school, they're going to be expected to be able to take turns, share with others and to help tidy up things when they're done playing. And this is a great skill for you to practice now at home. Let your child pick the toys they want to play with. And if it's safe to do so, let them take the toys and set up play themselves. Talk to them about sharing and taking turns. But do make sure throughout that you acknowledge that they're sharing and that they're helping and to thank them at the end for putting things away. When they're at school, there will be different occasions when children will need to get changed. That could be when they're getting ready for PE or when they're going out for play. Now don't worry, there will always be help available at school. But the summer holidays provides a fantastic opportunity to practice things like putting our coat on and off, doing up zips and buttons, or even pulling on a pair of Wellingtons. When you're doing this, you can talk to your child about the different type of clothing they might need depending on the weather. We hope you have fun trying out these activities with your child and for more ideas go to the Norfolk County Council website.